All right, guys, welcome back. So in my recent short, I talked about the two new uh, rotors I'm building for this Newman motor, this big guy here. One is a, and and this is for the four or the uh, the one inch square Neo mags I have. So one is a dual where I have two there and two, two up here and two down here. These would be north, this would be south. And this one is going to rotate this way. Which is going to be interesting. And this one's going to do the same, but this is a tri. So this guy will rotate like this. Each of these have these little caps that go on here like this. They get screwed down in. And they go into the big Newman motor. <clears throat> This guy has the same thing. He's got a cap. They're kind of pressure, they're press fit. They would get screws, little brass screws, these little guys right here. Little brass screws. <coughs> Excuse me. And so let me get those together. Um, I tried taking out the... Um, the barrel magnet so that I just had two here and two here and it didn't work. So because these magnet poles are going, you know, horizontal to the uh, to the vertical stance that this has that would have to go into the uh, the Newman motor, it doesn't work. And yeah, it just doesn't work. It has to be something like this or something like this. Um, and I'm not even sure if this one's going to work because it may have too many poles. Uh, but this one works. You guys have seen that. And I know these will work. I'm just leery about the secureness of just having those small screws hold those magnets in there. So I will be using my blast shield. I also designed some new uh, shaft brakes that go around... The shafts like this. And I'm going to print some more of those out. These are kind of too thick. I did another one like this that I'm not too happy with. So I kind of scrapped that one. That one's too thick too. But it'll be good for something else. Instead of using this. Because on this, on this round um, shaft here. It doesn't sit flush. So I had to put a little radius in there. And now it sits perfectly flush. Anyway, oh, my hand got in the way. Sorry, still dealing with this guy here. It's getting better. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right, let me get these guys together and give it a spin. Stay tuned. Man, I got to tell you, screwing this stuff in with one bad hand is rough. And I don't think I put the screw holes in the right place. I may have to, oops, I may have to um, reprint these and put the screw holes in better spots. I thought I had, I thought I had more. Ah, come on, I can't get this out because this press fit. I'm trying to do this one hand. Anyway, I thought I had more space. Yeah, I'm going to have to reprint these. They're, it's not... Yeah. All right, shit. Stay tuned. I just realized the problem isn't this piece. It's this piece. I didn't make these walls thick enough the way I made these walls. So there's plenty of area to screw in there. Oops. But not in here. I'll figure it out. Stay tuned. So as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to have to put some of that nylon tape around this. I don't trust it. I hate doing that, though. It really ruins the look of it because this thing would look cool inside here. Maybe I'll try it first without the nylon tape at a very low RPM. See how it holds up with the blast shield in place. All right, stay tuned. That is one beefy ass looking rotor, and it is heavy too. 
Yeah. Let me get the blast shield up there. I'll start out at like five volts and see what happens. All right. Let me get that out of the way. Let me get my circuit hooked up. And again, I'm running each of these coils separately off of the two, the dual JL94 circuit from Sky Collection. It's a beautiful circuit. All right, stay tuned. So I got it running at six volts. Let me turn it down a little bit. That might be too much. No, it's exactly six volts. I got the blast shield here. I'm not so much worried about it coming out here as it going into the coil and ruining the coil. Decent output. Let me turn it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's got some decent torque on that thing. Or my finger. Decent output. I don't dare turn it up any higher, though. There's 9 volts. Decent output. Yeah, this is a 3 8 inch like um, acrylic sheet. It'll stop any... All right, let me turn it back down. Turn it off, because I don't trust it. If I want to go any higher speed, I'm going to have to put that nasty-ass nylon tape on there. But I do value the coil and my life. <laughs> but it's going good. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it on this. It's too much pressure on my hand to deal with all this stuff. So I'll let this rest for a few days until my hand gets a little bit better. And then I'll come back, put the tape on that, and run it at full speed. All right, sorry about that. Fellas, gals, guys, thanks for watching. Ciao.